Hey everybody, this is Amelia Westwan here for a Digital Signal Processing mini project. I'm going to be talking to everyone about the Hilbert Transform and how you can do some cool message encoding with it. Steganography, as you may know, is basically cryptography's younger, dumber brother. While cryptography aims to hide what a message means, steganography aims to hide the fact that the message is there at all. An apocryphal tale holds that this goes back to ancient Greece, where some guy was able to sneak a message through enemy lines by tattooing a message on his servant's head, then having that servant shave in front of the correct people. The Hilbert transform is what's known as an analytic signal. This means that it's very strongly related to the original. In fact, it's ideally the same signal with everything just phase shifted by 90 degrees. So, how can we use this for steganography? Well, first consider this fact. Human ears are generally insensitive to phase shifts. Here's a brief demo of that fact. First, I'll play an A440 note. And next, I'll play its Hilbert transform, which I made using a built-in MATLAB function. If you can hear the difference, you're probably a cyborg. Here's a plot of the two to show that I'm not actually lying. We can use this fact about human ears to encode information. We would do this by slicing up the sample, then substituting in some sections with their own Hilbert transforms. By doing this, we can hide a binary sequence within an audio sequence. So, I wanted to demonstrate this. For simplicity's sake, I decided to just use ASCII to map characters to a binary sequence. Here's Hi Mom, which is what I intend to encode. I decided to implement my own Hilbert transformer. It's pretty simple to do so. You just need to use an impulse response described by the formula seen here. Of course, like an ideal low-pass filter, this cannot actually be realized. However, we can get pretty close with windowing. So, here's my MATLAB script to make an FIR Hilbert transform. To make a long story short, look at the graph on the right. Notice that the gain is almost zero decibels over most of the band. I was a bit worried about the fact that the phase shift seems to not be constant as we'd expect. However, when you take into account the discrete time nature of our system, you'll find that at frequencies of interest, we do indeed shift by 90 degrees plus some number of turns around the unit circle. I wrote a second script to apply this filter and then substitute in sections based on a binary sequence. Here's a demonstration. First, listen to the original signal. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots into his head. Now listen again this time with the binary sequence Hi Mom hidden in it. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots into his head. I don't have too much time to discuss how you would decode this. Here, however, is an easy way if you have both the original and the transformed signals. Simply take the difference between the two and then you can read off the remaining sections as if they were a barcode. I'll close by noting that this method isn't perfect. We are introducing discontinuities when we switch between signals, and that could introduce a little high frequency noise. You may hear this less than I can due to YouTube's audio compression and everything. Furthermore, if we want to actually transfer a message, you do need to send out the original signal somehow. This is a problem common to many forms of modern digital steganography. That's all. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.